Rivendell. Must be a school full of elves. Are we getting in the dirt? Huh. Getting some dirt miles on these things. Didn't think I'd be off-roading the Harley, but I guess, uh, well, whatever. I got some experience. I give us about five seconds before our first bear comes out, or moose. Fucking knocks me off my bike into the woods. Back on the pavement gives me a little better sense of security on this old Harley. The last thing I would want to do is do damage to a bike that's not mine, especially my father's. He brought me into this world, he can sure take me out. I figured I'd catch some ocean glimpses while I'm riding next to the ocean. I can't tell you guys how fantastic this ride feels to be riding with two guys that I started with uh, 25 years ago, something like that. I started on my father's 68 Triumph Tiger Daytona. Uh, guy in the lead here, Andrew, started on, I believe it was a 75 Honda CB750, the original Superbike. Uh, and Ben was on an early mid-80s Honda Sabre, I think it was, V4. And comparatively, that was a rocket compared to what, what we were riding at the time. But anyway, we were 16, 17 years old at the time and uh, raising hell out on our bikes, just the three of us. And this is the first time the three of us have ridden together since high school. And it's an honor. This is like the nostalgia ride. So we're somewhere in Maine. I don't really know where I think we're in York, but I could be wrong. Uh, now I live in Arizona, as you all know. Uh, much more conducive to riding out there. I like it. But riding around here on the streets, nice too. Nice to come back and catch up and cruise some country roads. And uh, Andrew lives in Vermont now. So we're all, we definitely have distance between us all. Ben in the middle, he's on a 07 Moto Guzzi Grizo, I believe. It's so nice that we were able to come together, join forces back at my father's house who lives down the street from where all three of us grew up, really. Um, the three of us have known each other since first grade. So pretty awesome to get to catch up and ride with these guys. Anyway, we're somewhere in Maine again, still. Plane is right up the border of Maine a little ways. Right across the great state of New Hampshire. Uh, right past Lake Winnipesaukee. Uh, it's a pretty big lake in New Hampshire for those who are not familiar, relatively, compared to uh, you know, not compared to some of the big lakes in the states, but anyway, around here it's pretty big. I'm on my father's uh, 2005 Harley Davidson Road King. Uh, it's pretty comfortable, nice machine, reliable, smooth, great for touring. I'm sure everybody knows that. Uh, it's a borrowed bike from his small stable of machines. This is old trusty. Looks like we got a pack of CRV soccer moms in front of us. Let's see if we can blast by those two in a few minutes. This is cool. And we're in the woods now. This 
is a serious New Hampshire country road. Are we getting in the dirt? Huh. Getting some dirt miles on these things. Didn't think I'd be off-roading the Harley, but I guess, uh, well, whatever. I got some experience. Where I wish I was on a Pan America instead of a cool cruiser. I'd be flying by these guys. I don't know if they have traction control or what. It's pretty out here. I guess it's about five seconds before our first bear comes out or moose. Fucking knocks me off my bike into the woods. Because that'll be fun. Maybe I should try standing up on the. Stand up on the floorboards. Like I'm on a real dirt bike. Nasty fans and YouTubeophiles, this video is really a personal reflection of some of the history and nostalgia of myself and two of my best friends. I grew up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and met my original group of friends in first and second grade. Andrew, Ben, Chris, and I have all been very close ever since. Andrew and Ben and I learned how to ride together when we were 16 in high school. We even took riding lessons together and got our motorcycle licenses together. Technically, we learned how to ride on an old puke moped that belonged to Ben's father, Don, when we were even younger. Chris never took an interest in two wheels, but if you're watching this, Chris, it's never too late to learn, and it's great food for the soul. And that goes for any of you watching. If you're interested, motorcycles can be cheap, fun, relaxing, exhilarating, an artful expression, and so much more, and you're never too old to learn. So many people are afraid and think motorcycles are dangerous, or that bikers are an unruly bunch. Both opinions couldn't be farther from the truth. But that's a whole nother discussion and perhaps a topic for another video. Where are they going? During high school, my father let me use his old 68 Triumph. Ben and Andrew bought a couple of nice old cheap bikes that we could all learn and have fun on together. After high school, we went our separate ways. We were sure to stay in touch over the years, but never did ride much together after high school. Ben and Andrew have both come out to visit me in Arizona separately, and we've ridden some of the finer roads in the northern Arizona desert. But this was the first time in over 20 years that we actually all planned a ride together and spent a day on the bikes. Andrew has a great app that will plan a ride between two points on all back roads. I think the app is actually called Back Roads. It was an epic day. We met that morning at my father's house in Portsmouth. 
We rode north into Maine, up the border a ways, and crossed into New Hampshire. From there, we rode west through Lake Country, just south of the White Mountain Range. We stopped in Meredith, New Hampshire for lunch right on the shores of Lake Winnipesaukee at a great restaurant called The Wicked Loon. From there, we continued west through Plymouth towards the Connecticut River and Vermont. This was a crisp bottom day. The leaves were just starting to turn. Fall is definitely the best time to visit New England. The weather is cooler and drier, the bugs have subsided, and the colors and scenery are just unreal. Unfortunately, I only shot footage in first person point of view. I love my videos to include some B-roll shots. I think it makes for a more dynamic video. But this ride was all about enjoying the road and our motorcycles and spending time together and not worry about work or filming. We spent the night with Andrew and his family in Vermont. It was a fantastic night full of reminiscing, storytelling and laughter, and of course some good beer and whiskey. The weather, roads and company couldn't have been more enjoyable. It was a great day that I'll never forget. The next day, Ben and I said goodbye to Andrew and his family and rode back east to Portsmouth. I've made this ride twice back now and both times have hit a powerful downpour of rain, so that sucked. But a visit to New Hampshire wouldn't be complete without getting caught in the rain at least once. Ben and I made the best of it though, stopping for coffee and to warm up and dry off along the way. I miss my old friends and think of them often, even when riding around out west. I think of all my high school crew and how much fun we had those years together. It was a time when life was easy, we didn't have the worries of adulthood, and we lived like kings. If you have an old friend or friends that you've lost touch with and think of often, reach out to them and reconnect. You won't regret it. After all, life isn't about what we have or what we do, but our relationships with people the time we spend together, and the love we share. Thank you for watching Northern Arizona Desert Rider.